Okay, I thought we'd uh, replace a 2007 to 2013 Chevy Silverado 1500 series grill. Gonna go ahead and put a LTZ style grill in the truck. This is a brand new GM one. Uh, you can find the GM number in the middle, very center, and a GM logo right there. It's kind of hard to spot, but it's the only place they put that on there. Um, you can get these used on eBay or what have you. You just want to make sure you got your four clips at the bottom and two clips in the mid. Uh, a lot of those are broken off, so you kind of want to watch that. <coughs> but uh, out here on the actual truck, not a whole lot to do on these. Got the top uh, top plate, which is just your your old style plastic pop tabs. I went ahead and popped them all out. There's eight of them, except for one here. You just take a screwdriver, remove the center piece, and pop it right out. lot of room. Take your uh, primer and kind of get on these brackets and give it a little little extra a little extra pressure that way. And if you tend to pull on the grill it tends to pop these pop those off. here with a little bit of a rain delay. Anyway, uh, after you get all the tabs kind of released and out of their kind of little slot, you can also take a pair of pliers and squeeze them on the back side, which will uh, release them. Got these all released. And then the grill just kind of slips off out of your way. And just grab your new grill. Lay it up in place and start sna snapping all those tabs back in. Basically, you're just laying in all your top screws. 
put your plate back in and uh, good to go. Got a replacement uh, 2007 through 13 grill. Looks a lot better. All chrome. Well, LTZ. And if you want to see that thing run, just tune into any of my other videos.